Skyblock New Horizons patch notes. Welcome to New Horizons. This update includes some major contents introduced in Skyblock. Welcome to Skyline Village. It's been a long road in the Lynn Village. Due to the small size and the limited space existing in the Lynn Village for new contents, we've decided to introduce a brand new Skyblock Village, which brings many new adventures alongside. Skyline Village has eight main zones. Village Center, Oak Forest, Harvest Haven, Coal Mine, Graveyard, Yard, wilderness, the ruins, and Colosseum. Let's start with the details of each zone. Oh my goodness. You get a nice look of the main village here. This is pretty interesting. Village center is where the most of the things take place in Skyline. It contains the community center, bank, auction house, pet care building, stands and buildings of the merchants, and many more. There are also the guides that'll introduce you to Skyblock by giving you the starting information you need. Oh, wait, so these are these are guides? They got rid of the villagers? Wait, so these are replacing the villagers? The oak forest. You can chop oak trees in the oak forest. Now there are even more oak trees. Oak forest also includes a teleporter to the park. Harvest Haven, the new house for crops and passive mobs. Look at all of the different crops that you can farm, man. I like how it's all condensed. Harvest Haven already has a step up from Fertile Valley with being you can just mine it like it's your own personal farm. That's so cool. Harvest Haven includes pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, wheat, beetroots. This is a new crop. Carrots, potatoes, mushrooms, cocoa beans, and bamboo. Hmm, so we got beetroot and bamboo that are new. There are also cows, pigs, sheep, rabbits, and ducks. So ducks, I guess, are going to be, be able to be farmed here too. Cool. Next, we have the coal mines. Dude, look at this. We have an actual dedicated like coal mine area instead of like instantly going to the deep caverns. That's so cool. A new area where you can mine stones and coals without getting bothered by mobs. So this is like a starting area for just starting out for your experience and crafters. That's good. Next, we have the graveyard. Look at this. Now this is a graveyard. We take a look at Lynn Village's graveyard. It, it's pretty much a playground. It, it's a kid's playground compared to this. This is like an actual oh my. This is great. You got like actual updated tombstones here you got some of like the different buildings here graveyard is now also larger than before it includes zombies and spiders also has an entrance to the crypts where much powerful mobs are located okay so this right here is the action this is the crypts actually and here we have the updated crypts not only do we have updated crypts we have updated models of the zombie mobs the revenants that you can find in the crypts these are updated now this is pretty nice i am not gonna lie that's pretty cool next we have the wilderness wilderness is the home of the magical nature you'll find the fairy queen there who is awakened now there may be many more mysteries in there so here's our first look at the wilderness in the distance you can see the cherry blossom trees and the oak forest here so that's pretty cool here's our new look at the new fairy queen here so this is where she's going to be stationed at she's inside or in the middle of a lake here this is where the cherry blossom area is so yeah this is what the new fairy queen's looking like pretty good not bad next we have the ruins the ruins is the place where you'll find some low level wolves to slay so we do have an updated ruins area from before so that is pretty good next we have the coliseum coliseum is where you can fight other players you can just walk in and start fighting it is pretty cool to see an actual coliseum fight battle here again you know that's pretty cool it is bigger but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls probably the biggest part of the new horizons update for crafters mc introducing pets pets are now available on skyblock and as you can see right here we got irrelevant here what seems to be maybe i don't want to say a tiger pet this is a tiger pet right guys i'm assuming it is it is a tiger pet that's a lion Anyways, though, pets are little companions that'll fly around you, each with their own model, sometimes make weird dance moves and grant you statistics and special abilities. When you obtain a pet, it'll just be an egg taking place in your inventory. When you right click while holding a pet egg, it gets added to your pets menu. You can access all your pets.
your pets and details about them from your pets menu, which takes place in the Skyblock menu. So as we can see here, we have five different pets here. We have the Slime Sheep pet, we have the Phoenix, the Ghoul, the One Who Knows, which kind of looks like a rabbit or like maybe a bat, but this looks like a carrot, so it's probably a rabbit. And we have an Elephant pet. You can definitely see here there are different levels as well, so we should be able to level up them to level 100, so that is really cool. Right here is kind of the overview of what kind of stats you can see. We have two special traits here, Runny Nose, slow down all enemies within five blocks by 30%, and Sneeze, summon creatures tag targets with slime on hit, causing your next attack to deal 12% more damage. And it is confirmed right here as well, we do have pet candy usage as well, so there is gonna be candy that you can use for your pets. When you gain skill experience normally, your summoned pet also gains experience to level up. If you want them to level up faster, you'll have to focus on their favorite skill. Here's the difference between a level 12 and a level 91 legendary elephant pet. So right here, we have two different comparisons. So the more that you level up your pets, the more stats you gain. So like I was just saying before, we have pet candies. If you ever need your pets to level up even faster, you're going to want some pet candies. Pet candies instantly grant pet experience to your pets. Be careful though, a pet can only eat 10 candies in their lifetime. So it is different from Hypixel. Instead of using carrots to make carrot candy, we are going to be using beetroot. So we're going to be using a different crop to get beetroot candy. The amount of abilities and their stats also differ with rarities. Here's the epic and legendary tiger pet as an example. The epic tiger pet doesn't have the apex predator perk that the legendary tiger pet has and it is confirmed this th this was a tiger pet that we were seeing so it does look like that there is going to be different traits and different stats you're able to get on different rarities of pets so definitely try to get the best one that you can you can obtain pets by crafting them dropping them from certain mobs buying them from the traveling zoo oh we're getting the traveling zoo that's great in some more mystery ways okay cool when you're crafting pets the main ingredient you'll need is an enchanted duck egg and super enchanted duck egg eggs that take place in the raw duck collection. You can craft them with the duck eggs which dropped from ducks. While crafting a pet, the rarity of it will be dependent of your luck. When you use an enchanted duck egg in the recipe, you'll be able to craft low rarity pets. When you use a super enchanted duck egg in the recipe, you'll be able to craft an epic or legendary pet. Here are some examples. Perks. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see what's going on here. Mystery silverfish pet. Ooh. As mentioned, the only way to obtain pets is not crafting them. Some of them may rarely drop from mobs. Here are some examples. The epic and legendary slime sheep pet rarely drop from the slime sheep mobs in deep caverns. So there are some mobs that drop some pets. So for example, you have slime sheep here, I have the cliffs, and then after that you have the ghoul from Slayer. So that's pretty cool. We have taming finally. You can gain taming experience just by leveling up your pets. We also got pet luck as well. Pet luck makes the pet drops more common from mobs and gives you a better chance to craft high higher rarity pets while crafting. You can gain pet luck by leveling up your taming skill and using some items. Next, we have the Traveling Zoo. As mentioned, you can also buy pets from the Traveling Zoo. The Traveling Zoo is a new merchant that arrives in the Skyline Village from time to time. You can see when it'll arrive from your Skyblock calendar. So this is another great mini event NPC that comes along in the village. So now we have, I think we only have two. We have the Baker Girl, which is like the first one that comes around and gives you the cakes. And now we have this guy for the pets. So that's pretty cool. Traveling Zoo sells any of these pets randomly picked every time he arrives. Lion, monkey, elephant, giraffe, tiger. The rarity of these pets are also chosen randomly every time Traveling Zoo arrives. Very cool. So you can make your pets even more powerful by giving them augments. A pet can only hold one augment at a time. So you'll want to choose them wisely. Well, unequipped, this pet gains 25% of the equipped pet's experience. This is split between all pets holding this item. Them? Oh, that's actually really good. Instead of like getting beetroot candies, just get pet augments. And that's just while you're doing everything, it just builds into everything else. You can obtain pet augments by crafting, buying them from merchants, from mob drops, from slayer rewards, and many more ways. Pet augment merchant Hopkins sells more. Boys, we know what his name is. You can find the pet care building in the village center at Skyline Village. There are four NPCs in the pet care building. Pet augment merchant sells pet augments. Bee merchant sells the bee 
pets. Pet enthusiast buys pets from players. And we also have the pet care. Sits your pets for some time and upgrades their levels. Reality shards. The fairies are now free. All fairy souls you've collected made it this way. The storm happened and the reality is destabilizing. You've lost the powers you've gained from the fairy souls. Find the reality shards scattered around the universe and take every three of them to the fairy queen to perform reality fusions. Talk to the fairy queen to learn the details. Just like the fairy soul exchange, every reality fusion will grant you permanent statistic boosts such as health, speed, defense, and magic find. Oh no, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to read this. Caution, Revenant Horror Tier 5 is now here with new zombie slayer levels. That is menacing. Tier 5 Revenant Horror is truly for the mightiest ones on Skyblock. It has a lot more health and a different skill scheme than the previous tiers. It atrociously throws TNTs at its targets. It charges up and releases massive thunder strikes, which destroy every existent in the range in regular intervals. 10 million health, 2,400 damage per second. Redemption, heals rapidly, explosive assault, throws explosive TNT, charges up and releases a massive explosion. 1,500 zombie slayer XP is pretty good though. Revenant Horror Tier 5 now has three new drops. Attuned Heart can be used to craft the Attuned Helmet. Shard of the Shredded can be used to craft the ultimate weapon, Axe of the Shredded. Smite 7 Enchanted Book can be applied to all weapons. Nice. These new recipes require you to reach newly introduced zombie slayer levels as well. Oh dude, what is this? Axe of the Shredded. I might want to get the Axe of the Shredded, not gonna lie. Skyblock soundtracks are now in-game. You'll now hear specially composed background musics in some zones and areas of Skyblock. You can also listen to Skyline on all digital platforms. Nice. It's experimenting time. You can now make wild experiments and gain massive amounts of enchanting experience using the experimentation table. They're adding the experimentation table in the crafters. Wow, I'm actually shocked. What? You can play a minigame called Super Pairs on the experimentation table. It needs you to basically find pairs of items on the grid to unlock them and grants you enchanting experience on completion. Oh, okay. Higher the tier, more items on the grid, better items and more enchanting experience. You can make an experiment in every 24 hours, though if you want to make more experiments, you can skip the cooldown up to three times in a day. The recipe of the experimentation table unlocks when you reach enchanting level 10. Craft it, place it on your island, and start experimenting. Added new enchantments that can be applied via the enchantment table or anvil. We have cleave, lifesteal, rainbow, giant killer, execute, siphon, triple strike, thunderbolt, respite, and prosecute. You can view the details of these enchantments via the enchantment guide on the enchantment table. Bro, I went to go take a shower for 20 minutes and you're still in the patch notes. This is how big this update is, okay? Most of the enchantments now require you to achieve specific enchantment levels to apply or use. For example, piercing and venomous enchantments now need you to be enchanting level 17 or above to use. Okay, so there is kind of like a gap to like, you know, enchant. If you have a weapon with some enchantments that you're not eligible to use, that enchantment's color will be gray and there will be a warning in the item's description. Okay. Prosecute 3. You do not have a high enough enchanting level to use some of the enchantments on this item. Okay, so we actually have progression where you have to unlock the specific enchanting level to get there, so that's pretty good. NPCs now alive? NPCs are now more alive than ever. You can now have dialogues with NPCs and chat with them. Maybe they're the only curated message that you can say. Coward word shut up. They'll sometimes even talk about things happening around the Skyblock universe. I don't like rainy weathers. Hope it ends soon. Ducks now also spawn in the Skyline Village in the Harvest Haven and now just got a new level of use. Ducks now drop Feather, Raw Duck, and Duck Egg with a chance. Duck minions are also added. You can unlock them on the Raw Duck Collection 1. New arrows and target practice. New arrows and the target practice have been added. You can access the target practice area and downstairs of the blacksmith building. In the target practice, you need to stand on the pressure plate at the center and shoot all the lanterns in the specific time. This is badnik range. There are three different tiers of target practice that make you unlock new arrow types. So I was correct. We do have more arrows. Nice. When you complete all three tiers, you'll unlock the target practice free mode. In free mode, you can try yourself against time and try to climb on the top of the target practice 
the leaderboard. New products and furnishes have been added to the gem shop. There are also some changes and price adjustments to the existing products. So it looks like we still have some of the existing items. So what's the new stuff here? We have Dolores Bouquet, times two magical name tags, more furniture items, ultimate beetroot candy upgrade, times two minion backpack upgrade kit, times five colossal XP bottle upgrade, Dolores flower, animal repelling candle. So there is a few items that have been added to the gem shop. That's pretty cool. Target dummy, place it on your island to track your damage, same as the ones in the blacksmith. Here's a new look of the updated dummies. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool, but at the same time, rest in peace, OG dummy. We're gonna miss you. Introducing Crafters MC Originals, our original resource pack for the game, which revamps the looks of many items and entities in the game. It is selected with First Sky Reborn by default and cannot be unselected for now. Okay. Some items now require you to be above some of the levels for skills. Rancher boots. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, if, if you're not farming skill 21 for rancher boots, then I don't even know what you're doing. And now, general news and changes. We have the emoji revamp. All emojis in the server have been revamped. You can view the list of emojis by using slash emojis in game. Thank you. Thank you. This is what we needed. The new emojis can also be used as slash mottos. Please tell me they added the laughing hard emoji. As like before, only gold or above players can use the emojis. Okay. Added the pigman sword. Pigman sword is now available on the collection Rob or chop nine. Would you look at that? This starts our journey and grind of getting the pigman sword. New stat, ferocity. Ferocity grants you percent chance to double strike enemies in increments of 100 increases the base amount of strikes. Ability damage. Ability damage is now displayed as a separate statistic. Added Slayer XP rankings. You can now view your ranking of Slayer experience in the whole server. Oh, brother. This is it, boys. This is where the, the fight begins of who's number one for zombie Slayer. Added Super Enchanted Whoop cushion to the collection raw chicken nine makes two fart sounds using all your power surely will make everyone laugh you gotta be kidding me next we have the fashion shop fashion shop now exists in the village center you can buy various types of tuxedos to show everyone your style and richness so it is confirmed we have tuxedos private island height expansion you can now build between the heights six uh, negative 64 to 320 it was zero to 255 before okay that's pretty cool multi-billionaire bank account added multi multi-billionaire bank account? Oh, brother. Wisdom stats. All wisdom stats are now listed under another menu in the statistics. Now when a player sends you a trade request, you'll see a green indicator right to their health. Look at the emoji, yo. That's so cool. And I think these are all just different patch notes. Yeah, this is all the different patch notes and like buffs, nerfs, changes, and just quality of life stuff down here. This is the new patch notes for Skyblock New Horizons for Crafters MC Skyblock. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll have everything in the description below. And yeah, this is probably the biggest update Crafters MC has ever released.